This video report looks into the relationship people share with video games when suffering from trauma or depression. I know from personal experience that escaping into a good book, or playing a video game, or even petting your cat is a good way to relax or de-stress. I think I really want people to come away understanding that people can suffer in different ways, and there are so many different situations that can make up someone's problem that they, they shouldn't be judged by that. What else? Little Big Planet 1, 2 and Cartoon. Played uh, Modern Warfare as well. Again, only multiplayer or co-op. I don't play the campaigns or anything. I play the really crappiest games of it that you get, like the app ones. Treasures of Montezuma, that's it. I've got um, Liberation Escape Plan. Love that. It's my first game or my first experience with games was probably ZX Spectrum. Uh, Jetpack Willy and Horace Goes Skin and uh, Manic Miner was another one, all of those. And then Commodore 64, Nintendo, and then the Snares, and then PlayStation 1, 2, 3, and um, Falls on Order. My, my father, I think it was 2003, found out he had um, bowel cancer. Um, supposed to have a routine op and unfortunately he um, got MRSA and went into a coma. Unfortunately my dad passed away, um, then my mum, just before he died, my mum told us that she had bowel cancer and unfortunately hers was quite advanced. She started chemo but unfortunately chemo was just too much for her. I went to hospital had, and was told there and then that I had the makings of bowel cancer and my whole bowel was covered in it. You know, going from being healthy and out and partying and having a really good job, earning lots of money, going from that from one week to going to being on benefits and, and thinking you're going to have your house taken away from you and, and stress and, you know, thinking about my parents all the time and I'm reminded of them all the time every day. Not that I don't want to, but I know that I'm probably going to end up exactly the same way, but I don't know when it's going to happen. It's like a time bomb, it's always in the back of your head. And I think that's where the depression starts, is because I've got time to think about things now. According to the Health and Safety Executive, the total number of cases of work-related stress, depression or anxiety in 2015 was over 440,000 cases. Stress is more prevalent in public service industries such as education and social health care. Most importantly, don't be afraid to reach out because there are professional people that want to help. This has been Sam Batty for BBC News.